Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com. Your boy is back and I done did it again. We here live with my little nephews. Um, so yeah, so yesterday there was a, a huge, I mean it wasn't even a huge controversy, but it was more like people were talking about it. They're like, man, you know, Joe says, you know, the, the top technologies that they should learn is, you know, react. But why should they learn React? Hey guys, this video is brought to you by viewers like you and people that support our website, CodingPhase.com. Go check it out. Over 20 courses in there that's going to guide you to become a developer from the beginning to becoming a pro. You know, it's like when they got Angular, they got this, this, and that. Guys, you are right about this. You are right about this because... Angular is very popular and still going to be very popular, right? But when I say, yo, it's the number one skill to learn is because the longevity, the fact that you get to create phone applications with React, the fact that you can actually use it for the web, you can actually use it for VR, you can actually use it for... <laughs> like, literally, I've seen people use it to create the UI of a fridge. A Samsung fridge is made with React. You got what I'm saying? So it's like, why wouldn't you want to learn it? You got what I'm saying? Plus, there's so many jobs. There's as many jobs as Angular in the United States, okay? Now, I'm talking about stuff that I know about that's here in the U.S., Okay, I don't know about internationally. I don't know about, you know, what's going on in India. I don't know what's going on in China. I don't know what's going on in Europe. I'm telling you from my experience here in the U.S. And what happens when something happens here in the U.S. It's pretty much what's happening all over the place. Okay, so definitely I would say learn React, right? If you can learn Angular, go ahead, learn Angular. I'm not telling you guys don't learn it. Angular is very important, you know, for enterprise. If you're looking to work at, you know, let's say IBM, for example, right? Uh, something that came, came up to my head right now, right? It's not the only enterprise company, but let's say IBM or uh, let's say, I don't know, General Motors or I don't know. I can't think of a company right now. But those companies, they do love Angular. All right? They do love Angular because Angular pretty much has everything that you need in just one framework. All right? But what happens is that a lot of people are realizing that just to train somebody on Angular, it takes too long because it's so much stuff that you got to learn. That in reality is like, wait, hold on, we gotta learn ng this, ng that, uh, freaking 30,000 directors, uh, 30,000 freaking Angular core. Like, there's so much, so much ish that you gotta learn. <laughs> I'm trying not to curse, but there's so much ish out there that you gotta learn that it's just kind of ridiculous compared to React. React, you you know, JavaScript, you good. You get what I'm saying? Like, you good, you, that's all you really needed. But, like I said, just go ahead. Learn React. There's a lot of stuff that's happening in, in, in the industry that surround the React. So, for you guys, you know, if, if, if it was me, if I'm a brand new developer, and all I have to worry about is learning JavaScript, right? I say, I know HTML, CSS, now I'm going to focus on JavaScript, right? The easiest way to continue with your learning is to learn react because react only reinforces the skills that you already know as a developer you know so that's all i'm saying right you can choose whatever you want you can choose whatever you feel like you know some people they hate having to write um you know html inside the javascript like they hate it right they hate it with a passion they're like i'm not doing it I'm not putting my my HTML inside of JavaScript. It's like they're so reluctant against it. So it's like it doesn't matter how many uh, pros you give them. They're going to be like, oh, man, you know, every book that I've read has said, don't mix your HTML with your JavaScript and don't put everything in one single file. And it's like, yeah, that was the old school way of doing things. Like you wouldn't want to be doing that with jQuery. But JSX is different. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's a different flow. It's a different way of doing things. It's something newer. I mean, some people say, oh, it's XML. I'm like, to me, I, I don't see it as XML at all. Because in XML, you all the things that you could do with JSX, you can't do it with XML. You know what I'm saying? Plus, it's just JavaScript, man. I find it that people just fight against it. They're like, man, I'm just not going to do it, man. I'm just not going to learn it because it's like I don't want to put uh, my HTML with JavaScript on the same file. And it's like you don't <laughs> you are fighting the future, man. You get what I'm saying? Like if you're creating elements with JavaScript, why wouldn't you want to use JSX, which is pretty much, hey, I'm going to create this element no matter what, but the only difference is instead of you having to use it and say, hey, go use this template, now you just say, F that, man, I'm just going to write it right here in my JavaScript, you get what I'm saying, like, I don't need to have a, a template file, I don't need to have a controller file, I don't need to have a, a model file, like, that's annoying, you get what I'm saying, so, I don't know, but that's, that's what I think. You know, but what do I know? You get what I'm saying? Like, what do I know? I, I, I don't really know anything. <laughs> but like I said, guys, just learn whatever you want, man. Only thing that I can say is I can recommend something to you. And if you feel like, hey, this is not for you, it's not for you. You know what I mean? Like, right now, you can literally say, hey, man, I'm, I'm actually a, a, a freaking, I don't know, a, a old camel. A developer like you could be an OCaml developer you could be a Perl developer if you want to I mean you do whatever you want and whatever actually interests you now when it comes to jobs and opportunities it's a different story you know what I mean got my little nephews out here they the one making all that noise hopefully you guys get the message and understand what I'm trying to tell you guys and, and, and teach you guys out here so yeah man we just out here a couple of beaties out here playing baseball. It's like, it's like a little park, a little isolated park, but it's pretty cool. I'm having fun out here. You know, we chilling. So yeah, man, it's your boy Joe back at it again. CodingPhase.com. Your boy's back, and I done did it again. Guys, learn whatever you feel like. <laughs> you know, I can only give you you know, uh, an advice, right? I can only try to guide you guys a certain way. That's it. But everything else beyond that is on you. You got to choose what you feel more comfortable with. You know, if you're going to hate something, you're going to hate the the job, they might, you might as well learn something that you're going to love, right? That's why you're learning to code, because you want to start doing something that's fun. If you feel like React is horrible for you, or you you just can't stand it, you're like, man, I can't I can't deal with JSX. I can't have my HTML inside of JavaScript, even though I'm creating elements with JavaScript. Then <laughs> that's on you. You get what I'm saying? Like it's like <laughs> if you want to go go and use Ionic or uh, what's the other one? <laughs> A native script to make applications and you want to use like something that is not even native go ahead man I feel like <laughs> react native is literally the future when it comes to uh, phone applications and so yeah man anyway it's your boy Joe back at it again codingphase.com I hope you guys enjoy this a little quick video just here you know I always try to give you guys good content you know random content no matter what so yeah it's your boy Joe